I've been going to the gym a lot the past couple of years, and in turn, it's led to me watching a lot of fitness YouTubers. And in this time, I've found out who are the good ones, who are the bad ones, who are the mid ones. I have compiled a list of eight of the most popular fitness YouTubers on the platform, and today I'm going to be ranking them from worst to best and explaining why. So hopefully in watching this video, you can learn a little bit about the fitness influencer world and who you may want to watch. So let's begin, starting off with number eight. Alex Eubank, the pretty boy of the fitness industry, he originally got famous off of posting a bunch of thirst traps on Instagram and transformation pictures with his abs out and everything, got a lot of followers on Instagram, and he decided to make a YouTube channel and start posting gym videos. And I've watched a couple of his gym videos, and they are really just not entertaining at all. I think he has a boring personality. I don't think he's teaching anyone anything particularly interesting. Overall, he just kind of is famous because of his good looks and his main fan base is teenagers who think going to the gym is going to make them look like him when in reality all you need is good genetics hair product and good lighting and camera work so i think he's a big problem in the whole unrealistic beauty standards for men problem because a lot a lot of his instagram pictures are just you know perfect lighting perfect you know perfect chiseled face like it's an unrealistic standard for young men to look up to. So I just don't overall like his vibe and what he's pushing. So that's why I'm putting him as the worst fitness influencer. Moving on to number seven. Greg Doucette is coming up next, and I will say this was a tough placing. I have a very love-hate relationship with this channel. I am subscribed to Greg. Um, there, there's a lot of pros and cons when it comes to Greg's channel. So on the good hand of things, he is a retired bodybuilder, powerlifter. He's held world records. He is very, very accomplished in fitness and strength and everything. Um, so he definitely knows what he's talking about. However, the cons and the big cons are the constant never-ending clickbait and drama that he gets himself into. It's just every single day there's a new video of him screaming about a different person. And like his voice, his voice, the screaming just becomes never-ending. In the house, you're bored and you're bored. And you're in the house. Can't train a failure because I'm going to get hit you're disagreeing with saying exactly what i said in the video they're a dime a dozen why they're all gonna give you chicken broccoli rice chicken broccoli rice all of them every single one and another problem is he's very clearly making his videos for money you know there's no problem you know it is their jobs to make money off their videos but he's constantly just between the clickbaits and him promoting all of his supplements and cookbooks and and everything else in his videos it just seems like a constant money laundering scheme like i promise you there is no one on this planet that needs to be spending 37 dollars plus tax and shipping on 12 protein bars no one no one needs that but he still promotes all of them in his videos like they were sent down from the heavens he always uses the angelic effect so i'm not necessarily saying he's wrong in the stuff that he says or he doesn't know what he's talking about, but there is so much unnecessary clickbait and drama, and it all just seems like one big money-making scheme that I just, you shouldn't, it's not a rabbit hole that you should get yourself into. Coming in at number six, we got the Trend Twins. You've probably seen or heard about them before. They've absolutely blown up in the last one or two years on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and basically everything. Um, they're two short mini P.E.K.K.A. twins who are extremely strong, extremely angry, and very much so on steroids. So a lot of their content just kind of surrounds the idea of just getting angry and lifting as many heavy weights as possible. And the videos can be entertaining and a little motivating, but um, the overall message that they're trying to push is just kind of move, like get angry, move as much weight as possible. It's not exactly something that people should try to follow, but I do think the videos can be funny and they can be good for motivation in general. So not bad, but not, you know, like the top of the top of the food chain as far as fitness entertainment goes. Coming in at number five, we got Jesse James West. You can kind of think of him as like the Mr. Beast of the fitness world. Um, all his videos are incredibly, incredibly well produced, well edited, so much content fit into a video, um, and which is great. You know, also the guy, he's a super nice guy, super motivational, um, nothing bad to say about him as a person. So definitely if you're looking for quality, entertaining content, Jesse would be the channel to go to. However, the only thing I don't like, and this is just a personal preference, is his videos don't seem very 
real. It's kind of the same as Mr. Beast videos. Like they all kind of seem more of like a production or a show than something that's like down to earth and relatable. So very, very, very good content. Nothing bad to say about him as a person or his content. It's just me personally. I don't really like videos that are super well edited, seem like a production. But overall, good guy, good channel. Definitely check it out. And at number four, we got Jeff Nipper. Jeff is a little bit different than all of the other YouTubers here because he's not really going for entertainment in his videos per se, but he you can kind of think of him as the teacher of the fitness world because all pretty much all of his videos, to my knowledge, are all educational about lifting and fitness and strength and everything in that kind of realm of stuff. And the videos are super well put together and everything, everything he says is backed by science Everything is researched, like there's nothing just like off the dome, nothing that's just made up in his mind. Everything he posts is all backed by science. So if you want a channel that you can go to for good, solid, quality information, then Jeff Nippert is definitely the place to go. The only downside to his channel is the videos are a little bit technical and not... They're, they're not something you can watch casually. You kind of have to like focus and watch and lock in. But the, again, the information is amazing. If you want to learn actually about the human body and how it reacts with lifting, excellent channel to go to, highly recommend for learning. At number three, we got Sam Sulek. Now you've probably seen him on some sort of short form content before. He, he sticks out like a sore thumb. Ginormous dude, curly hair, always wears a hat. Um, I really like Sam Solik personally. I'm not trying to hop on any bandwagons. I just discovered him fairly recently. I was a little bit late to the late to the Sam Solik party, but basically his YouTube videos are 30 minutes to an hour long, where he records pretty much all of his workout and then you know him talking in his car car ride back afterwards. So the thing I mainly like about his channel is that he is entirely like 100% transparent. He is entirely himself. He's just talking like from the heart basically and he's having heart to heart conversations with the audience so uh, a lot of pe people have pointed this out before me but it feels like when you're watching his videos you're kind of just hanging out with a friend he's a super down to earth person even though he is on a boatload of steroids he doesn't eat very healthy it's not exactly a lifestyle you should aspire to live but it's definitely one you want to watch because it feels like he's a super nice guy. It feels like you're watch when you're watching his videos, you're just hanging out with, with a buddy. So it's definitely good content to watch. The only thing I'd say is I don't really have 50 minutes a day to spend with him, so I don't watch all his videos, but definitely a great channel if you're trying to get, get in relaxed and comfortable in the fitness world. Highly recommend. Coming in at number two, we have Will Tennyson. I really like Will's videos. Um, he's similar to Jesse James West in that his videos are super well produced, super high quality. But unlike Jesse, I feel like when I'm watching Will, it's exactly his actual personality. It doesn't seem like he's putting on any kind of show or trying to be someone else. He's just very much down to earth. And on top of that, his content is super, super unique. Like, I don't really know how to describe it without, without watching it, but his videos, I'll show a couple on screen now, they're just so unique and not really something you'd find anywhere else. And he, he's on top of that, strong dude, well-built dude, natural too. He is also a hilarious person. He, he has he has like at least 50 jokes per video and at least half of those hit. So funny, good person, strong person, natural, good to look up to and great videos. You can't, you can't really say, you can't really want much else from a fitness YouTuber. So definitely one of my favorites, Will Tennyson. And coming in at number one, you may not know him. He's not the most famous fitness YouTuber, but he is my favorite. Eric Bugenhagen, aka Rick the Stick, aka Sticky Ricky, aka Rick Del Hagen, um, absolutely far and away my favorite um, YouTuber. He is, I am a fanboy for him. And it's not for the reasons you may think. It's not because he has the best content or he gives the best advice. It is because Eric Bugenhagen, I think that's how it's pronounced, I don't know for sure. He is Rick, let's call him Rick. He is the absolute greatest bundle of positive energy you will ever see. Every single video, whether he's talking or lifting, he is just absolutely, I don't know how to describe it other than what he describes as the number one key in life, which is the mindset. He is always bringing the greatest mindset, and it's something that I can't really um, produce in words, but I'm going to show some of my favorite clips from Rick Del Hagen here, and hopefully you can understand from that. <laughs> So 
yeah, it's not exactly a traditional pick, but I absolutely love this guy. I can't get enough of his videos. Highly recommend. He this is when you look at him, it's just a guy who loves the gym and nothing else. He is just always utterly enthused with everything he does and you can tell it comes from a place of passion and nothing else they're not high quality videos there's not no crazy editing but it's always him giving a hundred percent of himself and that's what's real to me so that's going to cap off my lift uh, my list of eight best to worst fitness youtubers let me know what you thought of my picks uh the, my top ones definitely check them out if you haven't and uh yeah i hope i taught you something new today, or at least gave you something to think about. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Orange Peanut wants you to subscribe because he needs more money.